You're watching KSL 5 News. Just a week after an unprecedented non-prosecution agreement between the Utah Transit Authority and the Justice Department, a new board member is already voicing concerns, saying he was restricted from speaking openly at the most recent board meeting. Political specialist Lad Egan looking into his claims for us tonight, and he joins us now live from the UTA headquarters. Lad? Yeah, Ashley, North Ogden Mayor Brent Taylor has only been on the UTA board since February, but after attending just a few meetings, he says the same types of problems that got UTA in trouble with federal investigators in the first place could happen again. That is my biggest concern. Brand new UTA board member Brent Taylor thought things would be different following last week's big announcement from the feds. We are currently in the midst of a long-term investigation. That investigation led to formal charges against former UTA trustee Terry Deal and mandated third-party monitoring. The federal government is coming in to have to provide oversight to one of the largest agencies in the best managed state in the nation. That is an absolute disgrace. At Wednesday's UTA board meeting, Taylor says the investigation wasn't discussed and he was told he couldn't present ideas for better checks and balances. I don't understand why we would constrain communication from any board member in the public meeting. That's the place for these kind of discussions to happen. The board's leadership did not want to respond on camera, but did send me a copy of a letter from the vice chair to Mayor Taylor, which said in part, the very things you are assuming are not in place are indeed being implemented. The letter from Sherry Hall Everett went on to say that Taylor is going against board policy by speaking to the media. I respect healthy tension, she wrote. However, I don't respect creating tension just to create tension or to score political points in the press. It's just bad governance. Taylor says he'll keep speaking out, particularly over what he calls a lack of transparency with land deals. That is an area that has been the Achilles heel for UTA since the beginning. Speaking of land transactions, during that UTA meeting, Mayor Taylor abstained from voting to authorize the condemnation of some property along the new transit system in Provo and Orem. He says he wasn't comfortable with that proposal. And Ashley, that one response we did get from a board member reminded that they've already undergone three years of reforms and that they are always looking for ways to improve. Vlad Egan live for us in Salt Lake City tonight. Thank you. Dave? Several Western